There are a lot of considerations for how to wire electrical in a music studio. And if you're looking for a reliable resource with more detail, I recommend Roger Vey's book, Home Recording Studio, Build It Like the Pros. For my own studio, however, it was fairly simple. I don't have a lot of gear to plug in, and I don't expect that to change much in the future. I have a desk and computer setup, which all goes through a single power conditioner, then at the back of the room, my guitar amp and some pedals. Since my setup is so simple, I chose to have all plugs in the studio on a single circuit. I also connected the plugs in the gym beside my studio to the same circuit. This room is used by my kids, and they will rarely plug things in. It's mostly for climbing and playing. Between the two rooms, there are a total of 12 receptacles, and that's the standard maximum for a single circuit in Ontario. If you're installing your boxes like I did, it's helpful to stick them out from the wall a bit further to account for the extra layers of drywall. I had two layers of 5 8 drywall, so I installed the boxes an inch and a quarter from the wall. After drywall was installed, there was only one plug I had to use a box extender for. I did leave myself some flexibility by placing six plugs around the perimeter and an extra plug in case I want to wall mount a TV in the future. I might never use that one because I'll be covering the front wall in acoustic treatment, but at least the option is there. The lights are on a separate circuit that's used for all basement lights. You can further isolate your studio electrical by dedicating one circuit to the studio alone, or even isolate individual receptacles by having one circuit per plug. If you have a lot of gear, I would recommend working with a professional electrician to discuss your options. The one change I'll likely make in the future is adding an uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, for both clean power and backup power. These units clean the power like a typical conditioner, but also have a battery backup which will give you time to safely save what you're working on and shut everything down during a power outage. Typically, the more you pay, the longer the battery will last. If you've got the budget, you can have hours of backup power and continue working during a power outage. In terms of sound isolation, I installed standard electrical boxes, which means you have a fairly large hole through the drywall at each receptacle. I wrapped each box in a putty pad for air sealing, and you can also use caulking around the edge once drywall is installed. I will have a future video where I talk about CAT6 for audio. I installed four connections each between the studio and the gym and the studio and the den. I won't use it a lot, but it's nice to have the option there. Subscribe to be notified when that one comes out. Please like the video if you found it helpful.